Hello and welcome to a Final Cut Pro 10 quick tip. Uh, I got a question on one of my videos. Um, I think it was my video on how to use dual screens inside of Final Cut Pro 10 if you have a second monitor or you've plugged your laptop into another screen, etc, uh, etc. Et However, one of the problems that you might face is if you go onto Windows um, and then press show viewer on second display, you can see that it's only going to put it on your actual second display. You don't get the choice of which screen you want to become full screen and which screen um, you want to remain with your timeline and events and inspector. Um, now, obviously, you can use the shortcut Command Shift F to play back full screen. Um, however, that only actually works when it only goes full screen on the viewer that the viewer is on. So if I were to put the viewer back on the main display, you can see now that full screen display will show on the main display. However, when you have it on your other display, it's going to show the full screen on that display. So anyway, how do we solve this problem? How do we put the viewer full screen on a different display to what it wants to go on to? Now the answer is actually very simple. If we go into the system preferences, and go into display. You can see there's an arrangement tab. You can see in the arrangement tab we've actually got a white bar here. Now what we can do is drag this white bar and put it onto our other display and that basically tells um, what you're actually grabbing is the menu bar, so this bar across the top of your screen here. So by putting it onto the other, split, other display you're then making the original display the secondary monitors. So when we press show viewer on second display inside of Final Cut, it's going to put the um, the full screen viewer on that display. And if you remember my other tutorial on two screen dis um, two monitors in Final Cut Pro 10, you remember me saying that the Apple monitors often have much better color calibration than an off the shelf monitor. Um, so uh, thanks for watching and also. Also remember that you want to test your media on as many displays as possible so you know how the image is coming out across many displays and not just the one display you're working on which will be very different to lots of other TVs. Um, but now, thanks for watching, uh, remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon with some brand new tutorials, there will be some advanced ones coming out as well, so thank you.